<clears throat> Unfortunately, another death in the Dark Den. And this time it is a tarantula. It is my second tarantula. So the original viewers of the Dark Den will remember this tarantula really well because uh, at that time I didn't really have a lot of tarantulas. So she was featured in basically every feeding video at start of this channel and also I rehoused her two times in relatively short amount of time. And she was the tarantula that, that showed me how tarantulas can climb easily slick surfaces like uh, bathroom tiles and bathroom tubs. Before that I didn't really, I wasn't aware of that fact and she kind of exploited that situation. And she was my very first female tarantula. I bought her, she was like this big maybe, so around 8 centimeters in leg span. Therefore I made my first enclosure, my first glass enclosure that is, this way over there. The very first glass enclosure that I made was made for her. And I think when I got her, uh, I got her in 2014, at the end of 2014 or at uh, early start of 2015. So that means I had her for a little bit over six, ye six years. And when I got her, I assumed that she was maybe like three years old or such. So I don't think that she was older than that. So that puts her at around nine years of age. So I'm not really sure what is the average lifespan of uh, Asian tarantulas like Hilobrahi species, but I was expecting more than 10 to 15 years, something like that. I didn't really expect that she will die at such an early age. Uh, let me show her. She is right there, you see, uh, dead in a death curl. Actually, she was dying for past a week, I guess. Every day she was noticeably weaker and weaker. I tried giving her more water, but of course that didn't help. And so after a week of struggling, she finally died today. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I didn't record this video yesterday, even though I had planned to do that yesterday, while she was still alive and showing some signs of life. But unfortunately now she is completely dead, you see. And even though she was, yesterday she was in a death curl, but still when you when you pull her she would still uh, do a, some sort of thread posture and yeah really sad yeah completely dead so this is her enclosure and this was one of my earliest projects that involved a real wood piece inside you see this her hide is made out of wood and also I used the, the dirt to fixate that wood you see all of this is just one big wood piece so I will now take her and we are going to measure her because I think that they should grow to uh, like 20 centimeters in size and I don't think she is quite big but I don't think that she is 20 centimeters large so let's check that let's see what is her size mm, I need oh it's right here I already prepared yeah she is nowhere near 20 so therefore I definitely think that she died prematurely but why exactly? I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, she's actually 18 centimeters, 7 inches. And if I would like spread her legs entirely, 19, almost 20. Oh, interesting. I didn't really thought that she was that big. Hmm, but it still seems a little bit too early. Look how big this part is. So big. And she's so... Carapace is so strong. Her abdomen seems normal. She actually molted like a few months ago. And nothing else to say in regards to this. I actually have one interesting thing to show you in regards to her. You know that I had a mature male of this species and also that I attempted, uh, I attempted to breed her. That seemed successful, but she never made an egg sac or at least I never spotted that egg sac. Maybe she, she made it and then ate it, I have no idea. But I of course recorded that first breeding attempt and released it as a video. One thing that you don't know, there was actually a second attempt and I never told you what happened to the Hilobrachis Joachini male. The fact is she ate him. The second attempt wasn't successful. I mean, 
I don't really remember now, I think that he went for it, but then she grabbed him while he was under her. Or maybe, maybe I remembered it wrong. I have it recorded, so we are going to check it out now together. Ah yes, you see he attempted to breed with her and it looked promising at the start but then she just stomped on him. Uh, now looking at it, if I wasn't holding a camera maybe I could separate them on time because he was resisting her squeeze for a while but it is hard to know that now for sure. And he was also an old male and that didn't have uh, much life in him anyway. Also one thing I noticed, you see that patch on the female's abdomen, could that be the sign that the female made an egg sac? I think I read that, but I could be wrong e easily. Anyway, back to the regular video. Now looking at her like this on the table, she actually looks, she still looks alive to be honest. And just compare her to my hand. I have relatively big hands. My fingers are relatively long, so it is not some sort of comparison, but yeah, it is so freaky how she looks alive. When I go to touch her, I still have a feeling like she will just bolt or try, or try to bite me or something. Uh, but that unfortunately won't happen. Her coloration is kind of dull and boring. I mean, it's just a brown tarantula, but still her posture and everything, it is impressive, right? Yeah, I really loved having this girl. I enjoyed having her and she taught me so much. Thankfully, I never, she never beat me, even though she was the first tarantula that showed me what how thread posture actually looks like <laughs> those were fun times and i think that i have some old clips of her that i never used in the videos so i will definitely use them now and show you <laughs> show you those clips and did i made a spotlight video of her i think i did a video that features all the all the feeding clips that I recorded in one, one big compilation. Yes, I actually did a compilation of that. I will link it in the description so you, you, if you want, you can go and check it out after this video. Also here I have another news and this is not a dead tarantula, this is a mold. This is not another bad news, but this is mold of Tapinauhenius violatius. And yeah, the female actually molted, so let me poke her so you can see her. Her coloration is... Mwah! I keep her in this enclosure. And she molted a while ago, so I think that she won't mind me poking her too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, <laughs> there she is. Although she seems so dark in the video, I mean on the camera, in real life she is not this dark. Can you go more up on the light? Oh, yes. Hmm, on camera she definitely looks different. She looks almost blue on camera. What is this? What is this sorcery? Hmm, and what is this spot on her abdomen, huh? Did you spot it? You see? Whoa! This is something that she didn't had earlier. It seems like a part of abdomen is missing. Ooh, is this concerning? I hope not. I have no idea. I never seen something like this. Maybe during the molt uh, a piece of her abdomen got stuck or something. It is not leaking or anything, but I should definitely keep an eye on it. But check out the coloration. Oh, sweet. She's so shiny and everything. Mm, but this is worrying. Hopefully nothing. Nothing serious. 
Uh, now look, Pezzelteria rufilata is outside together with Pezzelteria subfusca, one next to each other. Uh, now I need to tear down this enclosure. This enclosure is maybe four years old now. Yeah, I made it all the way back in, in my apartment. So I moved this from my apartment into the first dark den. I mean first dark den outside of my apartment. Then I moved it again to previous dark den. And now finally I moved it like one less time to this dark den. And oh, it's, it's so sweet, all the webbing and everything. But what can you do? What can you do? Nothing. Of course, I'm going to store her in the freezer. And then in the future, I will make a taxidermy of her and all the other tarantulas that I have preserved. I want to have a nice display of them. Something like these molds, but with an actual tarantulas and not molds. So I hope that you enjoyed the video, even though the news was a bad in the video. I hope that it was enjoyable to watch. If you enjoyed it, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page, also a merch page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload on Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye.